Welcome everybody, 3DHP here. It's time for another another resin video. And in today's video, we're going to be printing more goodies on the Pio Poly Forge with Jamhe resin. I've got their green, I've got their clear, I've got their black, and I've got their gray. And I got a couple really cool models. One I gotta finish up and a new one I'm printing. So we'll get into it right after this. Welcome back. Time for more resin stuff. I'm always printing something. I'm busier than hell seven days a week here in Vegas being retired. But I've got more jam heat resin. I've got their, I'm working with their, uh, their black, their green, their gray. What else? And more, yeah, black, green, gray. Oh yeah, and they're clear and clear resin. I got a little bit of everything and I'm going to be finish up, finishing up my Mandalorian bust at 200% scale. And then I got a really cool model by Wicked Art Patreon. Actually, that's where they both came from. I've got, uh, what's his name? Thanos. Comic version of Thanos. Really cool model at 100% scale. Which is, oh, I don't know. It's going to be about that big, I guess. But yeah, check out these cool these cool photos and time lapses. And we'll be right back to uh, conclude it. And uh, like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. But I'm trying to get my YouTube channel to grow. And with people like you, you can help me do that. So here we go. Mando bus got done. My slicer said it was going to take almost two bottles of resin to do it, two big bottles, and the vat was almost completely dry, so I had, I had to use some black, and I had to dump some black in it, so I had to finish up in black. 
but we'll get it all stripped up, get it cleaned up, washed up, and uh, we'll see what it takes to look, what it all takes to look, we'll see what it looks like before I prime it. So let's get about the build plate. This is from Wicked, 200% scale, on my Pio Poly Forge, and Jam He, they're clear, oh wow, that's very heavy, and clear resin. Kind of hard to see at the moment, but we'll get it cleaned up off the build plate, get all the supports off of it, and see what we got. All right, the base that Thanos got done in uh, Art Engineering Resin, Nebula Gray, from Jam He. I had to tweak a few settings, this is a factory recommended, but it got them done. Uh, the legs here at 100% scale. It's been hollowed two millimeters thick and has drain holes in it. Let's take a peek. Bring it over here to the table. And this time I use light supports. Whatever you do, do not use heavy supports. Heavy supports were held in that other piece. So what I did, I put the model in light chi, or excuse me, in cheetah box. I hollowed it and done internal supports in cheetah box and put in my drain holes. Then I imported it in Blair Slicer, I believe it was. And uh, then I sliced it. It came out great. The, in Blair and in Lychee, the internal support structure was like a honeycomb and it was almost solid and I couldn't seem to get that down to where I wanted it. So in Cheetah Box, I used 5% internal supports, the grid, and it came out great. And then I just imported the files in SDL, imported it in Blair, put on light supports, dense light supports, and it came out great. So, not very good. So, let's see how easy they're going to come off. Yeah, see? That's how they're supposed to come off. Yeah, real easy. So, that'll be awesome. So, let me get this all cleaned up, and we'll start printing the next part. we got to do is uh, the base and then his torso. Okay, let's take a look at the upper part of Thanos. And what was the time on that? 18 hours, 33 minutes. Um, it's hollowed. has internal supports. I used uh, light supports on this, dense light supports, and it looks like I have a, some breakage here. I noticed when it was printing last night, in the vat, I had a little piece of the back of his, uh, I don't know what you call that piece on the back of his armor, right below his head. You can see it right there. I lost a bit. So I guess I didn't have it supported well enough or something happened. So let's check it out. Yeah, well, the rest of it looks great. It's on the back of the head. I'll see if I can mend it. And if not, it won't be seen sitting on the shelf. So, wait and see how that, how that comes out. But these supports, they just, they remove real easy. Not a problem whatsoever. Awesome, the green got done. The base got done. And it's in green resin, and that looks amazing. You can see a little bit of resin inside right there. Wow, so cool. Print time was 26 hours, 35 minutes. Thanos base. Let's get it over the table here. Ooh, that is beautiful. It's a shame I'm going to have to prime it and paint it. But that is a beautiful green. And once again, I use light supports, dense supports. I pre-sliced it in Cheetah Box, imported it to Blair, Blair Slicer, where I sliced it, and then here we go. Very cool. That is beautiful. Um, I know the name of the green. I'll put it here on the screen from Jam He. Very, very nice. That is a work of art there. And the uh, base is for Thanos from Wicked Art Patreon. Let me get that off the build plate and uh, get it all cleaned up. Those supports are going to remove, uh, come off real easy just like the other one.
And here we go, we got everything done. And as you've seen the time lapse, one thing I wanted to say about the Mando bus, like I said in the last couple videos, since I've had the Peel Poly Forge, I just started using Lightsy Slicer. And like a dumbass, I put heavy supports on this. Don't ever, ever use <laughs> dense heavy supports. I had one hell of a time getting all those supports off of this model. And uh, basically I ran through two big bottles of resin doing it. And because it has a big vat, I didn't want to run it completely dry. That's why I dumped black in. And as you see in the top half of the model, when it was printing inverted, its collar and neck area got done in black because I was running out of resin. And then when I removed them, as you've seen in this picture right here, I broke a part of the model on the bottom. So you had to get some epoxy sculpt. And, uh, yeah, epoxy sculpt? Yeah, epoxy sculpt. And I had to mend a few places, sand it down, and then I primed it gray. That way it looks uniform. So that's all gray primer that you're seeing right now. But this thing, this beast is pretty heavy. And then on the black, the black came out beautiful. We got this in, well, almost beautiful. This is Mandalorian emblem. It's printed solid. And let's see, the R and the S kind of got boogered up on the bottom. Didn't have the supports quite right on those little tiny letters right there where it says Star Wars. This is printed solid. The base was done, it was hollowed out, and of course it's black. And it came out really good, came out very nice. The white marks are scratch marks for me pulling off supports and cleaning it up. That's why it looks scratched. I still need to prime this gray. And once you prime your model gray before you paint it, my dog's looking in the doggy door watching me. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing talking? Who are you talking to, Dad? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, once you prime it gray and you get before you go to paint, you can see any boogers that you have or any places you need to touch up or any little supports that you might have missed. You can find at that point. So, basically the front, which is not glued yet, obviously, will sit on there. It's a little crooked. And then when you put the two heads on, I'm either going to, I'll probably end up using magnets on them. There's with his helmet. And then here's with the actor's head on. Came out very nice. Looks beautiful. And I don't have a tape measure around. I can grab one real quick and I'll tell you what the height is on that. And then I'll take off the base at 200% scale. Uh, that's about 14 inches. So that's about 14 inches tall, and that's a 200% scale. And then moving on to this beauty, look at this. And as, as you've seen, the base was done in green, and I got it all cleaned up, and it's been cured, and I primed it gray for the camera effect. That way you can see all the little skulls and everything that's in that. But, yeah, that just came out beautiful. So nice. And I don't have the figure glued in yet. He's just sitting there. Thanos is just sitting on the base. I do have the two parts of Thanos glued together, and it came out amazing. And that is in their uh, Jam Heat Gray Resin. I forget if this was a standard or the Nebula. I think it was a standard plus resin, the gray. He has not been primed. That's the gray. I did have one boo-boo. I lost some supports here on the back. So we'll have to, uh, I might go on a net fab, put this part in net fab, try to cut that out, and I can glue that little piece back in. But yeah, it came out beautiful, and it, the resin's printing really nice on Peel Poly Forge. The Forge is an awesome printer. I'm glad I got it. It's a nice size, and it's working really good. And the base came out really good. Thanos came out really good. And I cured these three parts, as you've seen, in the Uniformation curing box. They sent me out their wash machine, which is a wash station. And they sent me out their curing box. And I haven't used their wash machine yet. The curing box is working really good. It's got a light in the lid, two lights on either side, left and right and one light below so as it rotates it cures the bottom so you don't need necessarily need to flip the part over. I typically cure everything for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes per side. If it's too big for whatever I want to cure in, I've got a portable UV light I'll use or I can even take it out and set it in a chair in the sun 10 minutes per side. And then whenever possible I always cure out the inside of a model. I've got a UV flashlight which I have, uh, what do you call it? A fiber optic wire that I can stick inside the model in different places to cure it. Then I have a little battery pack with a little UV flashlight on the end of the bulb that I can get inside the model. But yeah, that came out beautiful. I love it. I have more resin by them. I have their white resin. It's called Snow White. <laughs> I've got more green to print with and I've got a little bit more standard plus resin. And uh, yeah, we're still printing goodies from Jam He. The Peel Poly Forge is doing great. Some of my prints have been on the Uniformation GK2 AK resin printer. It's doing a wonderful job. 
And yeah, everything is working out great pretty much. But please like, subscribe, and share. I'll show more pictures here at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, check out the resin. If you like the Peel Poly Forge, it was it's on sale, I believe, for like 900 and something bucks right now. It's, they had a great deal. I'm not sure if it's still on sale, but it was at the time of my last video. It's got an awesome build volume on it. Um, the build plate is heated. It has a little heater up here on the top where you can heat the vat. And I showed you I got the camera working where I can monitor the print with the camera. So I got that working. I haven't figured out the Wi-Fi yet, but I've got the rest of it working on it. And uh, I guess that's about it. So until next time, please like, subscribe, share, and have an awesome day. Later.